All right, now if I load my own library by going replace brushes, I have just my brushes that I want to work with, and I want to show you how to save um, the attributes onto your brushes. So, in other words, I have to open up also my brush palette, and I'm just going to put my brush palette in with my brush presets. Okay, so in other words, what I want to do here is let's say I take this brush right here. And I want to be able to have, well, shape dynamics on. I want some scattering. And, you know, I can play around all day with this. Maybe some angle jitter. And what happens is I have this brush that kind of looks like cells. Okay. Very cool. So now what I want to do is make sure I save that brush in my library. And how I do that is save it as a new brush preset. And we'll call this cells. So now in my brush presets, I have this. And that's how you save a brush with attributes. So all these other brushes need attributes in order to survive. These are your raw ones. And usually what I'll do is I'll create a bunch of cool raw ones and then uh, make very specialized ones after the fact out of the raw ones. So, you know, like this one, for instance, this one I showed you that you can make a frame um, using angle jitter and no pen pressure. Okay, I might want that as a brush preset, so I'm going to save this as a new brush preset and call it uh, Jag Frame or something like that. And there we go. Another way you can do that is save it as a tool. So under tools, there's a tool preset. And I have a couple of these already saved out. Now, the difference between a tool preset and a brush preset is anything can become a tool preset. So if I have an eraser with a cool brush on it and a cool color or whatever, I can save all that combined. Uh, another thing that gets saved along with it are these. Okay, So a lot of times I'll use tool presets instead of brush presets for two reasons. One, the brush preset is utterly freaking too big. Okay, So this takes up half my screen. This is a super sexy little tiny tool preset palette that I could set off to the side. And I'll use this about 99% of the time. So, But if I wanted to make a good ABR series to share on the internet, you know, I'll save brushes, save my brushes out, and then I can share that with my friends on the internet. The tool presets, you would have to need the brush library that I just made, and then you can also have the tool presets so you would have to load two if I was sharing it for people and some people don't do that so this is easy to share these are a little harder you make this new tool preset by clicking this and see I can include the color that's something you couldn't do before so if I want a red and then I save this as a new tool Here's my bullet holes, here's some red cells, and here's my jaggedy frame. Okay. So that's the difference between tool presets and brush presets. Also, you can save brush presets and tool presets just the same way. So if I want to save tool presets, I can. They are called TPLs, though. So what I want to do is just save it like that. And then if I want to replace them, I have now my ABRs and my TPLs. So different kinds of libraries within Photoshop. All right, so that's the difference. Uh, those are how you manage your brush presets and brushes. And please move on to the next video.